Our next performer started at Vanier in his words straight off the boat in 1986. He made quite a name for himself at the last variety show. Of course, he does have quite a name. He started as a replacement teacher in the English department, has taught rock climbing, he is an active member of the academic council, is involved with developing the explorations programs, he's a member of the Vanier Singers, the Montreal Welsh Male Voice Choir, the Montreal West Operatic Society, he is a keen rugby player, a golfer, and is a member of the Quebec Rose Society. And so, by any other name, we present Mr. Brian Cluellen Abdavith. Pleased to see you again. I remember you from last time. You didn't laugh on the left. I have to do better today. Uh, <clears throat> no, I told you last time about uh, about young young Albert. You know how we got it by the line. And I thought, what with this being a uh, an educational sort of a place, I'd I'd give you a bit of a history lesson, like you know, uh, kind of keep you up to scratch with the latest scholarship. Um, of course, as I, I thought to myself, I'll have to tell them a couple of things, what with lots of them coming from abroad, like. Um, so, uh, a lot of this takes place in Blackpool, which is very famous on the, on, on the, uh, the East Coast, uh, very cold sort of place, uh, very wet. A lot of people go there for the holidays. Um, <clears throat> and, um, and actually, the, uh, it was made famous in the long, dim and distant past, and... Uh, I thought I'd, I thought I'd tell you about it. Th there is one similarity with Paris. Uh, it's not the pretty women. No, um, it's the it's the uh, the tower. The, 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 there's a a famous tower in Blackpool. Well, it's famous in Blackpool anyway. Um, not quite as famous in Paris. Um, but uh, anyway, <coughs> I, I'm I'm just thinking of the beginning. That's why I'm looking pensive here. You know, it's. <laughs> Not that I've forgotten it at all, you know. <laughs> no, <clears throat> no. I, I'll tell you an old-fashioned story, as grandfather used to relate, of a builder and joining contractor. His name, it was Sam Oglethwaite. In a shop on the banks of the Irwell, that's a river, on the banks of the Irwell, to there Sam plied his trade in a place you'll have heard of, called Bury. You know where black puddings are made. <clears throat> One day, Sam were filling a knot hole with putty when in through the door comes an old fella fair wreathed in whiskers. He says, good morning, I'm Noah. Well, <clears throat> Sam asked Noah what was his business and told fella chance to remark that not liking the look of the weather, he was thinking of building an ark. He got all the wood for the bulwarks and all to the shipbuilding junk, but he wanted some nice bird's eye maple to panel the side of his bunk. Now maple was Sam's monopoly. That meant it were all his to cut and nobody else hadn't got none. So he charged him three apence a foot. <laughs> three apence a foot, replied Noah. Penny a foot's more the mark. Penny a foot. And when rain comes, I'll give you a ride in my ark. But neither would budge in the bargain. All daft think were in kind of a jam. Noah stuck his, and Sam stuck his tongue out at Noah. And Noah made long bacon at Sam. In wrath and ill feeling, they parted, not knowing when they'd meet again. And Sam had forgot all about it. When one day, it started to rain. It rained and it kept on raining. It flooded the old countryside. It rained and it kept on raining till the air well were 50 mile wide. The houses were soon under water and folks to the roofs had to climb. They said twas the rottenest summer that Berry had had for some time. The rain showed no sign of abating. The water rose hour by hour till the only dry place were at Blackpool. And that were on top of the tower. So Sam started swimming to Blackpool. It took him best part of a week. His clothes were wet through when he got there, and his boots were beginning to leak. 
he, oh, you like that one? Yeah. <clears throat> he's, he stood to his watch chain in water on tower top just before dark when who should come sailing towards him but Noah steering his ark they stared at each other in silence to the ark were alongside all but and Noah said what price your maple Sam answered three apes a foot neither would budge in the bargain and Noah his sail had to hoist and he steered off again in a dudgeon. And Sam stood determined, but moist. <laughs> now, Noah sailed around flying his pigeons till the 40th day of the wet. And on his way back, passing Blackpool, he saw our Sam standing there yet. His nose just stuck out of the water. A comical figure he cut. Noah said, <laughs> What price your maple? Someone's a three amps a foot. Nay, come lad, that best take my offer. It's last time I'll be here about. If water comes half an inch higher, I'll happen get maple for now. Three amps a foot, it'll cost you, said Sam. And as for me, don't you fret. Skies took a turn since this morning. I think it'll brighten up yet. <laughs> <laughs>